Hey everyone, we're gonna stick with us versus herd. If it's your first time here, love the content, hit subscribe. If you wanna get notifications for when we post videos, tap the bell. And if you wanna join our options trading live channel, I go live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before market open. Links are below in the description. And if you wanna join the UVH fam, our community, links are below in the description to our Discord and our options trading group on Facebook. If you made money today, comment below, got paid. If you lost money today, comment below, learned a lesson. If you could do me a favor, hit the like button for the YouTube algo. I definitely appreciate it. Man, today took a wild, wild turn. I mean, I did close up today, I'll show you in a second here, in $350 realized profit, not huge. Glad I got out of today alive. I was heavily short going into today and I was able to take some profits and then roll into some some long positions. But I mean, the S and P's they closed up 35. Dow was up 377. Complete re reversal. Nasdaq up 96. I mean, Dow was down this morning when I was live streaming. Dow was down 300, 350. It's up 700, six like a six to seven hundred point swing today. I mean, just crazy. Of course, we knew that it was probably going to be up because the jobs report came out. It was terrible, of course. And that's why we had green today. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. But, I mean, maybe. Who knows? We, 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 we typically have a green Thursday. Typically. Typically. So, get into the trades and kind of where I'm looking at for tomorrow and why I decided to get a little bit long. Here's what we had going on. Now, the first trade today, Apple. I had a debit spread on and I was targeting, like I said yesterday, I was targeting the 300 area. Now I made $150 on this. I bought this yesterday. If you look at Apple, I bought it yesterday, paid 465 for this debit spread, sold it for 615 this morning. The one thing, the one thing that I will say out of this, I was targeting the 300 area on Apple. And I guess I was I was getting a little I, I was getting a little greedy with it when it double tapped here at 301 I thought it was gonna push up and come back down and it didn't it pushed up to 304 and this is where I closed it could have made more than 150 I think it could have made you know 220 something like that so we left we left some money on the table today I was I just I probably should have closed that one as like 301 302 area and was starting to bounce back up instead you know I I I closed it up around 3 what time was it 910 this morning so I literally closed it on this candle right here where it was like 304 I closed out so I didn't get the best exit I, mean, I had the right idea now this trade was out of the on our website the options trade ideas which is part of our impact impact report pro subscription so it's 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 one of the option trade ideas on here and we also had one on dkng uh, both were profitable this month so that's where this trade idea came out of you know so i i i got out a little bit sloppy right in here i got out at 304 versus 301 and you know it did come back down but this, I, I, we, we were the rate we were bouncing at i thought we were going to have like a v-shaped recovery like bounced at 301 came back up and just kept going i'm like man this thing is ripping from 301 it almost hit 305 before getting rejected back down to 301 area but by that time i was already i was already out of the position so you know made made a nice quick turnaround you know we made about 35 percent on this trade right in here on apple and then on Home Depot, I had another debit spread on. We made 106 bucks on Home Depot. Now, Home Depot was a little bit tricky. I, I'm, I rolled into another Home Depot trade, and I'll go over that in a second. I'm up currently 100, 134 bucks, 25% uh, on. But this Home Depot trade, I was in on a debit spread. I put, I placed yesterday. This debit spread right here, I bought for 649, sold it for 755 this morning. I was long the 230 put and I was short the 210 put. Now, I said yesterday this was a little bit risky because there's earnings on Home Depot next week. Home Depot Home Depot dropped quite a bit in the last couple days. I mean, it's dropped from 239 all the way down to 226. And this is why I closed it out. I closed it out at 855 this morning. Probably closed it out a little, little bit too late. I closed it right as it was ramping up in here. But it was, you know, it was pretty close to low of the day. That's why I was closing, I closed it out. I closed it out because the S&P, the market was selling off hard and Home Depot wasn't budging. The market was selling off hard this morning and Home Depot wasn't going anywhere. I mean, if you look at SPY right now, uh, this morning, SPY, when at 8.45, spy was spy was tanking and this thing was just chilling it was just like hanging out it was it, was, it wasn't going down anymore 
Spy was tanking, it was going down more, and Home Depot wasn't going anywhere, so that's why I'm like, okay, I'm gonna cover my position. I'm definitely glad I did, because this ripped up like all day long from 226, uh, closed at almost 235, 234, 48. So what I did was I rolled into a position for next week. I put on another debit spread, but it's for it's for next week expiration because because Home Depot has earnings next week. So I didn't think, you know, Theta wasn't gonna hurt me too much. Implied volatility was really low still. For next week, it's only at 52%. So that's why I rolled it into a debit spread for next week on Home Depot. It cost me 535. I'm currently long the 232.50. Looks like this right here. I'm long 232.50 and I'm short the 250 strike here. And I didn't think, I honestly didn't think Home Depot was going to come back up this much. My target right now was like 236, 238, and it almost got up to 236. It's right now 235 after hours, but we'll see where it opens. But I might be able to close this trade out tomorrow if we get a little, get a little bump in the market. You know, so that's that's what I'm looking at on Home Depot right now. The other trade that I, the other swing trade today, I was 100% for my swing trades, and I was at 0% win rate for my day trades. And the day trade, um, well, my swing trade, I sold my I sold my VXX call that was for protection. Now VXX, let's go back a couple of days here. So VXX, I bought this June 5th right here, June 5th. 40 call on March 12th. So two days ago I bought this and then I sold it today for like 125% profit for 515. So I bought it for 238, sold it for 515. And we had a pretty big bounce. And this is why I exited my position because you know the market looked like it just didn't want to go down anymore. This thing, this thing popped up to 42. I sold it, I sold it actually right at open. I sold it right down here. Could have made a could have made a lot more money once it popped up. I mean, looking at this VXX call, let's see what did it, I sold it for 515. Where did it pop up to? June 5th. I was in June 5th, the 40 call. So this is only going for 320 at close. I sold it for 515. And that's why with 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 uh, VXX, you don't want to be holding on too long because it reverses right out of click. So I sold it at 515. This actually popped at the 623 today and came down to 326. I mean, crazy, crazy price action on these on these on these calls today. I mean, it's down, this call is down 29% today. It what it was up. It was up, you know, quite a bit. Yesterday, what did it close at? Closed at. This closed at four dollars. It was up at six. So it was up like fifty percent today, over fifty percent, and it closed down twenty nine percent. So that's what. If you're trading VXX, I mostly use it for a, a vehicle to hedge my positions. But you want to you want to kind of treat it like a hot potato or a grenade because you don't want to hold on to it too long because as you can see i mean this could easily go against you and at the end of the day i mean i mean vxx sold off pretty hard actually closed down five percent after being up like five or six percent on the day closed down five percent on the day vxx so just be careful with that now spy let's get into spy and what went wrong with spy spy I day traded SPY today. I was trading the 280 strike puts. I lost $155 today trading SPY. Now let's look at this. This is the only stock I day traded today or ETF. And I, I got in and got out a couple of times. Now the first the first time I got squeezed out, I lost $80. I was trading the 280 puts on SPY. And let me pull up SPY here. I was shorting it as it was going up so i shorted it right at 9 46 a.m so i shorted it right in here it squeezed me out right so when it squeezed me out i exited it lost 80 bucks and i'm like okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna chill what i then did though is i re-entered when it was looking like it was topping out here so at 10 22 so right yeah right on this candle here it looks like it was topping out when it came down to here when it came down to 278, I was actually up on that position, $140. I should have closed it out. Instead, I got I thought we were gonna my target was 278. It didn't hit 278, hit 279 before reversing and grinding back up. So you know, I made some mistakes shorting, shorting, shorting spy today, and it, it cost me $155 in my profit. So I was up $500 in realized gains, but because of spy day trade, I'm up. $350 in realized profits, which I'm not, I mean, I'm definitely not complaining about. I'm definitely not complaining about. But for SPY, 
I was eyeing this right in here. So yes, it did come down at 272 before before regrouping. You know, this 280 mark above this 280 mark, it likes to push up. So right now we're still range bound. Yes, we did dip, dip down, but if you look here, you know, we're still pretty range bound between 272, 294. It tapped down here where this where this candle where this candle was, and it reversed almost immediately today, reversed and it closed above 280. So now we're back to mid range. So I think right now we're just kind of pinging back and forth, which I've been saying, we just kind of moving back and forth. And now we reach the bottom of the range and it's going back up. Now there's no other explanation. People are like, why is it going back up? Why is it going back? That's what the price wants to do. That's what the stock wants to do. Price action is price action. It's, it's, it's gonna do what it wants to do, okay? Now I did get a little, going into tomorrow, I did, put a credit spread on DKNG, didn't get the best entry. I entered up in here on DKNG and I'm actually down like 60 bucks on that position. I have a credit spread expiring tomorrow. The reason why I put a credit spread on is DKNG, if we pull it up. So DKNG, I have a credit spread. I sold the 30 put, bought the 25 put, got a $3 credit. Max loss is like 195 bucks or something like that. 200 bucks because the five dollar wide, so it'd be like 200 bucks. So I got a three dollar credit, 200 dollars max loss. This is this is this is definitely a gamble because I, I the only reason why I sold premium in here is because IV was at 317 percent. Hopefully tomorrow we get a little we get a little IV crush. I'm down on it. The reason why I entered this position early, I mean I entered it before market close. I mean basically an hour before market closed. The reason why is because I was gonna be in meetings. I didn't expect it to sell off this bad. Normally for earnings trades, I try to go, I try to enter, I try to enter closer to close as possible, but because I was I knew it was gonna be in, in meetings, I just entered the position. I'm like, okay, it's holding like 26 and a half pretty good. Just pinging back and forth. I'll just I'll just put the trade on. And of course it drops down to like 25, you know? So here we are with DKNG. Definitely, definitely a speculative play, definitely a gamble, but I think that it could push back up. Even if it pushes back up to 27, I'll get some premium crush and we'll make some money tomorrow. So that's what I'm looking at for DKNG. I'm not looking for it to be above 30 or get max profit or anything. I'm just looking to make a little bit of extra money on that on DKNG. Also, I, I'm long DocuSign, so I got into DocuSign. I'm on, oh, that's the wrong trade here. DocuSign, I'm on the 120 calls for next week expiration. DocuSign, it costs me $5, and I have two of them for next week. And DocuSign was holding up relatively well all day. Had a couple spikes, it's up to 122.50 after hours right now. But I entered at 11.32. So as it was just kind of stabilizing right in here, I entered right before this huge spike. Probably should have just sold it and reloaded, but I didn't because I wasn't I wasn't planning on having it be a day trade since my day trades were going pretty pretty poor. So it's it was pretty crazy. I put the trade on, it then spiked up to like 123.50 and then came back down, stabilized, and now it's trying to rip back up. So you know, DocuSign, I look like to get along. I think that it wants to push back up to like the 125 area, which is my target on DocuSign. So overall, you know, the market, the market's gonna do what it wants to do. You just gotta be careful. Take your profits, redeploy capital. Take your profits, redeploy, re redeploy capital. If you watch this video to the end, comment, watch to the end, hit the like button. As always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus hurt.